How did we get to this point? It's official. Young children and babies as young as six months can register. Scratch that. They don't have the ability to make this type of choice. Their parents can register for them to receive their first COVID-19 injectable. In my province of BC, that physically starts happening on August 2nd. But like I said, their parents can register now. Now, I'm sure you're just going to race right now to register your little bundle of joy so that they can be one of the first babies to go ahead and receive this novel intervention that we're still learning oh so much about. But before you do, you might want to watch this report. I don't know. I interview uh, three BC family doctors who have something to say about this COVID-19 vaccine rollout. And information like this, you're not going to see on government-backed legacy media. You're also not going to hear it on YouTube right now because the censorship gods here love to make sure that the public doesn't actually have access to medical professionals or scientists that have something to say that could differ from that of the state's. So to avoid that level of censorship, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and click on the description below this video, and that will take you to a link for the full report, which will be uncensored on our website at rebelnews.com. You can also give us your email so that we can avoid all of this censorship talk the next time you watch one of our reports, or you can check us out on our other social medias. You can check us out on Rumble, which does not censor such conversations and important matters of public interest. So again, the quickest way is to go to the description box below, click on the full link to this report. I'm Drea Humphrey, and I will see you when you get there.